Hey, Jade here from The Rawsome Truth. Today I want to talk to you about my skin. I want to give you a big skin update. Um, nearly coming up a year that I've been fully raw. I will be um, fully raw on the 2nd of January. And for those who've followed me um, throughout my whole journey, you'll know that I actually, my main reason for going raw was to heal my skin. I have had dreadful, dreadful skin for quite a few years. I've had acne most of my adult life. Um, I'm now 39. Um, but in the last couple of years, it has got really, really bad. And um, a lot of it was to do with grains, but I believe there's a lot more. I've had bad hormones. I've had yeast, yeast growth. Um, also, um, a few years back, I was using Proactive before I was a vegan, and what happened was my skin actually cleared. It looked like it was clear, and I thought, wow, this is the best stuff I've ever used, and believe me, I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars over the years on skin treatment, and it looked really good. After about a month, it was really weird. I, f I could feel my skin and although it looked okay, you'd feel bumps all over my face. And that was because everything was just getting stuck under the surface. And you can still feel my skin and feel, it, not to the same degree, it is healing, but it's like it's little bumps stuck underneath. So over the last 12 months, I've been trying to heal my skin on 100% raw following 80-10-10 which for those who don't know what 80 10 10 is it's a high carb raw predominantly fruit diet as well as some tender greens and a small amount of seeds nuts avocado or coconut milk so that's what i've been eating for the last year and a lot of water I've been keeping ultra hydrated so my skin started to look really great and after 60 days on this lifestyle I did this video how I healed my skin in 60 days and it was looking absolutely amazing and then winter set in and you know bit by bit a few pimples were starting to come out and about eight weeks ago I had the biggest breakout I've ever had it was unbelievable and I and it was as if stuff that had been surfaced under the skin for so long just started coming up and I'll put some photos in there. And there was just all these growths all under here, up here, up here, and I died of embarrassment. I'm thinking, ah. Anyway, I mean, I've got no makeup on at the moment, so I'm pretty pleased with how my skin's looking at the moment. It's pretty good. Anyhow, so I had a cardiac arrest, and I said, oh my God, what am I gonna do? This is pointless. I've been on raw for so long, and my skin's looking now worse than it did. Anyhow, it's starting to clear. So I went on 100% um, fruit for two weeks. Didn't wash my skin, uh, only with a little bit of water. Um, and I was putting charcoal masks on my face. I was putting turmeric masks. I was putting betonite clay masks on my face and putting pure um, aloe vera gel. I was juicing it from the plant and I was putting that on my skin. I'm still putting the aloe vera on my skin. I'm still doing masks too. Anyway, it is really starting to clear. And the most amazing thing is the last of the little bumps that are stuck under my skin are finally starting to come up. And I can actually, I'm really starting to see, I'm saying, wow, I think in the next three months, especially with the beautiful summer heat, I'll be getting a nice amount of vitamin D, which is great for my skin. Um, you know, I'm outside a lot more, so I'm getting the fresh air and everything. I, I, can, I can really see the last little bits and pieces are gonna go. So, what have I mainly done over the last 12 months? Well, the aloe vera mask, no cleansers, none. And that's something I've never really um, done in my whole life is these no cleansing kind of things. You know, it's always had to be a scrub and whatever. No, all I've simply done is showered water. That's it. I even cut my showers back. I used to have two showers a day. I'm now only having one shower a day. Sometimes it's I'm even having every second day. But the most amazing thing is I don't get smelly. Um, and I know that's to do with eating raw. So sometimes I go every second day. So it's huge for me because I am a shower girl. I really like them. I'm having cold showers. Um, 
when I first get in, I must admit, I do <laughs> put the warmth on after a bit, but we're coming into summer, so I might be able to have it the whole way through now. When it was in winter, it was like, uh. And I also have an ele our little electric brush, that I go, uh, just for some exfoliation, and I do that every second day. And it's just been amazing how my skin has been healing. Um, bar my hiccup, that's okay. Um, I didn't turn around and quit raw. I didn't blame it on raw. I just said, you know what? Maybe there's something that needs to come up. You know, and I know I, know, I can feel what I've had under my skin for so many years. So it has taken a long time to surface itself, but I've been patient, you know, um, we live in a Pop-Tart um, world. We expect everything instantly. But the truth of the matter is I've destroyed my skin over so many years of abuse, so many years of not eating properly. You know, even, I mean, my alcohol drinking, I know I haven't drank for nine and a half years, but, you know, there's been so much I have done, medications, antibiotics, you know, Panadols, you name it. Uh, you know, that you put um, steroid cream, steroid tablets, um, contraception pill, all those kind of things that we've put into our body, that all needs to come out. So I've really had to be patient with it all and um, I'm just really happy with where the results are going. You know, I can see that I'm looking more youthful in my skin. Um, you know, who knows, another year I might look 21. <laughs> oh. oh, my daughter would be watching this cringing. No, um... But I feel I look more youthful. I mean, I don't look 21. But, I, you know, I can feel it in my skin. It's just amazing. So I'm so happy with the results. Um, you know, if you're searching for something to heal your skin, look no further than what we've been given. Water, fresh fruit, veg, uh, greens, and um, aloe vera. Activated charcoal has been amazing. I've been sleeping with it on my skin. Yes, it makes your stuff dirty. I don't care. I mean, it's all about my <laughs> my skin for me. I can wash things, uh, you know, but I just, it's just been amazing. Uh, Turmeric and betonite and water mixed together has been amazing mask. So, you know, it's just, it's just been fa fantastic. And all I've been doing is eating the way nature has wanted us to eat. So, um, that's just my skin update. That's how I'm going with my skin. Um, I'm going to keep you updated even further and I know my skin's just going to get better and better. I'm just so happy with the results. Um, I know this sounds a bit vain, but I was driving today and I looked at myself in the rear um, view mirror and I looked and I thought, wow, I'm actually not embarrassed of my skin. Now, I've gone 12 months without wearing makeup except um, mascara and lipstick. Um, I think about three times I've worn it in that whole 12 months and that was for a wedding, a christening and some other function I went. Oh, I was a keynote speaker at the Adelaide Vegan Festival. So that were the only three times I've worn makeup the whole year because I've been wanting to heal my skin. And yes, it's been embarrassing at times. Yes, it's been hard. But I've just had to, you know, pull my shoulders back and say, you know what? I want the results, so I'm, I'm prepared to do what I have to do, embarrassing or not. I know that if I'm going to put makeup on my skin, I'm going to cog my face back up. So do what you have to do. Just be real. Get real. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. Remember, don't take lives, live life. All right, see you next time. Bye for now.